BJ was your coach on the show. What was it mm -hmm. like training? Oh, it was awesome. I, you know, I honestly think BJ is the best pound for pound fighter. Period. You know, I, I can't take him down. I can't do anything to him on the ground. Uh, you can hit him, but he doesn't really care. He mm -hmm. has a great chin, and he blasts you back. So he's, he's the best. And you trained in Hawaii with him? Yeah, I, uh, I trained with him on the Ultimate Fighter show for like mm -hmm. a month, month and a half. Mm -hmm. And then I went off to Hilo for basically two months, came oh, home wow. for a little bit, and then went back home for two months. What did you like about, you know, Hawaii? What did Because, I mean, you were there for two months. Hawaii. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's very different from Boston. Uh, amazing weather. You know, people there are all really cool. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just everyone out there loves fighting. You know? Yeah. It's such a big deal out there, you know, so... It was awesome. What did you, I mean, what did you like about the culture and just, you know? You gotta go with the food. Like, food? I, I don't need like a lot of fish, but they get some awesome food over there. Did you ever try pokey? I think it's cool. Like, oh, I think that's the name of it. It's like ahi tuna with like stuff on no, it. No, I didn't try that. It's mana burger though. From really? Paris. Yeah. Uh, mana burger, loco moco. Loco moco. Okay, I'll remember that when I'm ever in right. Hawaii. Now, obviously, you know, BJ is an amazing fighter. What is the one thing that you can maybe pinpoint that you've taken away from him, like that you've learned from him? Uh, well, BJ is, he tries to like smash every workout. It doesn't matter what you put in front of him, he tries to destroy the workout, you know, whether it's a run or a lift or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the, the other main thing I think is that you know, he learns anything and he drills it to death. Like, he doesn't try and get, you know, eight million moves in. He'll take yeah. one thing and he'll just work on it for like a month until he masters it. He can do it at any time. Yeah, and that's, I guess, the problem with some people, some fighters, that they just kind of like, eh. yeah. they don't do repetition. Yeah, they, they do it, they kind of remember it, and then they move on to something else. He, he's not like that. He absolutely masters it. He does it to death. And now you're a GSP beat him. Yeah. How did how you feel about that? Um, you know, I, I think BJ is great. I, I think he didn't look real good at 168. You know, I, I would have liked to see him come in a little bit leaner. Um, but you know, it, it's the case of a, a, a mediocre-sized 155er fighting a huge 175er. Yeah. You know, BJ is awesome, but you get someone that's that much bigger, you know, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Now, what happens, you know, if he's still, you know, the lightweight champ, and you know, you're fighting, you eventually become like the number one contender with that. Would you? would obviously have to fight him if, um, if he's still the champ. I, I wouldn't want to fight him. Yeah. But I know he said that he would make me fight him. <laughs> uh, if, if it ever came down to it, you know, and they were gonna give me a chance. He wouldn't want to see me pass up a chance. Yeah. You know, just because of our friendship, you know. But we'd be super cool before, super cool after. Okay, you know, that's good. Be just awesome. Yay. Duane's about to get tased. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Taser up. No. It doesn't hurt that bad. No, no, no. I mean, just... <laughs> Guido was scared to death from the beginning. He screamed louder from hearing it than he did when he actually got tased. Did that sound like Guido? I'm like, Yeah, kind of. <laughs> he screamed before we tased him, like he went to go, like, you know, put it down. That's the the fight. What have you been doing today? You know, just relaxing? Just laying low, you know, I slept till about 11, 11.30. Um, just hanging out, you know, we'll probably go get food in a little bit. You know, yeah. just, we are watching fight tapes again. We're just watching our Roy Jones Jr. highlight video. Mm. Just a bunch of, you know, ultimate knockouts, all that type of stuff. Now, when, do, you know, what is your kind of mood? When do you kind of get your adrenaline rush? You know, I'm right up until the fight, until I walk out, I'm pretty low-key. I'm the really? guy that's like, you know, like, I'll have my corners warming up a lot more than me. I'll be on the edge of the mat sleeping, so. Really? You're just yeah. really chill? Very relaxed, yeah. I mean, it's something that we do all the time, you know. I'm not, it's not like, you know, that this is going to be different than training. It's a little bit different, but it's basically the same. So once you get into, you know, out by the fans and all that kind of stuff, yeah. that's when you're like. Yeah, then, then it kind of gets turned up a little bit, yeah. Okay. Now, is there any memorable experiences that you've had the day of the fight with any of your fights that you can remember? Um, I mean, it, it's pretty much always low-key. You know, it's usually just, you know, playing cards or, or watching fight tapes or just, you know, whatever. You mm -hmm. really don't do a whole lot. Pretty low-key. Basically, trying not to think of the fight where I'm trying to make you think of the fight right yeah, now. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. You, I'm you're sorry. very counterproductive. I know. Well, I'm going to be screaming for you, and I'm going to lose my voice. I appreciate it. Because I, I was doing my screaming. But I'll be cheering you on, and... Bring hell to the Oh, I definitely will. I definitely will.